my wife fell in love with the body lines of this car. I think they're gorgeous cars too. And we saw one in the classified ads in Tennessee for, it was like two grand. And it was bright red and it was this cool XJS and it was already converted to a 327 Chevy V8. We went to go and get in it one day. It backfired through the carburetor and it started on fire and burned to the ground in my driveway. So I've always been pissed off about that. I've spent so much time and effort and energy and money on that car to watch it burn in the driveway. And, uh, and so it's like, I've got a grudge against this bitch. This is not the first vehicle that's ever had an LS swap, but it's the perfect candidate for it. And a plastic block makes it easy to do. And with just a little help of searching on the internet, I knew who to call to help with this swap. Jaguar Specialty Conversion. The LS has been really, really popular. You, you already know that. It's right. Getting yeah. bolt stands. There's no drilling, cutting, or welding on the car. Like I said, everything is. Uh, operates just like stock when you're done and, and people really like that. Yeah. If you open the door, look at the car, it's completely stock on the inside, it looks completely stock from the outside, but runs as you can imagine as part of the setup. Very cool. Well thank you so much for your help in advance. A few bolts. Mock up lock goes back in. Plenty of room for the Holly oil pan. And the Holly cast iron manifolds looks like they're gonna work too. On paper, the 6L80 transmission was perfect. It can handle gobs of power, bone stock, and they're available just like LS engines in, in every salvage yard. However, uh, off paper, there's not enough room without carving up the tunnel. The 4L80, I've got it in my Camaro. It's a bulletproof transmission with a little bit of tweaking, so that's where we're going. I'm a big fan of forced induction. I love power adders. Turbo, supercharger, roots blowers are actually kind of my choice because you get torque instantly. Uh, I wanted to put a top end roots blower on this LS. However, carving up the hood, not an option. We just didn't have room, even with a low profile case. So we can get as much power as we need naturally aspirated. Here's what we're doing now. We're gonna go with an LQ4 and a 4L80E go naturally aspirated, do maybe a top end kit and a camshaft upgrade. It's real easy to get between five and 600 horsepower naturally aspirated, and that's gonna be plenty for that car, especially when we consider it made a poopy 127 horse to the tires before we started. I feel great about this so far. Honestly, the engine fits. We know where our exhaust is gonna go. We know a transmission solution. The rest of it is filling in the blanks. 